In 4-H, doing science means using an experiential inquiry method. This method, or the scientific process, is key to doing science. Once youth learn and understand the process, they can apply it to investigate many other questions and issues that they face in their classes, career, and life. First, we start with a spark, something that will make them wonder, pique their interest or curiosity. It may be something that they observe, an idea that comes from a discussion or exploration. So we're going to do an activity called Taken in Stride, where we're going to measure our stride length. Why do we care, right? <laughs> so why do we care about measuring our stride? We might want to measure. So if you knew your stride length or how far your, your walk was, right, you might be able to measure something. That spark will bloom into a question or several questions. Get the youth to discuss and focus on a single question. Work with them to form a question that they can answer through their own investigations. An investigable question is one with variables or conditions that the youth can manipulate and control and a time frame that is observable. A good plan tests only one variable or idea at a time. It may require some research before deciding on your plan. Check how others have defined terms, methods they used, and how they measured the results. Decide what tools are needed and available to implement your process. A good plan increases the chance you can draw conclusions. So you're going to measure your own stride length. I want you to take a couple of minutes and think a little bit and plan. Um, and think about how you're going to measure. You saw one example of how the Psy Girls did it, but how you're gonna measure your stride length. So your challenge is to see if you can measure the stride length for everyone in your group. Let me tell you your tools too, I'm sorry. So you're gonna get some masking tape and you'll have a tape measure. Those are your supplies. Youth should have an idea what will happen. They should predict in advance what they think will happen. This will often be based on the research they did during the planning phase. It is okay for youth to disagree, to have different ideas, but predicting and explaining why we think something will happen or not happen is key in creating scientific knowledge. So you're predicting that your stride wouldn't be kind of in its groove right at the beginning and you'd need a little kind of warm up time to get comfortable, okay? Excellent. So now you've got some ideas. Make sure before you actually do it, you make a prediction. So you predict how long someone's stride will be. This is the fun part where youth actually do the exploration, the experiment, where we hold conditions constant except the one we agreed to manipulate. This is where we carefully observe, measure, and record so we know what happened, how it happened, when it happened. Multiple observations and tests recorded in a chart increase the reliability of the results. The analysis of data is when we find out whether our prediction was correct, whether our test allows us to answer our question. Youth make calculations, use their recorded observations and manipulations to determine the answer to their question. What did youth predict would happen? Why or why not? What new questions arose? Sharing the results of your scientific process with peers and mentors is the final step, a chance to explain your question, your prediction, what you did to investigate, your findings and what they mean. Share the excitement. This is also the time for your peers and mentors to question your process. Perhaps defining the variable or measuring it differently would have resulted in different findings. Good science requires rigorous review and feedback. It is only through this critical questioning and feedback that we find out how things really work. Almost every time we answer a question, new questions arise. Two of us, we went out and did it on the snow. Yeah. And what was interesting on the snow... What if we did this or tried that? Science is iterative. Investigations build on previous investigations. 
So keep following an experiential scientific process. As our science inquiries continue, we are often able to answer more complex questions, build on what we already learned. To recap the process. And we started with a question. This can be from your wonder board, or I give you the question of, uh, you know, how would you measure your own stride length? I made you plan. I made you think and plan a little bit. And I actually made you collaborate as a group because there's actually a lot of different ways that you can do this. And I wanted you to get input from others um, before you got started. You made a prediction. A lot of people took this to thinking about height or um, how that relates to leg, leg length. But always stopping to think and make a prediction um, before you do is really important process skill. Testing. So then you're all over the place testing, right? And we can test forever. Um, I wish we had more time to, to let you keep going. But um, so we did testing. You analyzed your data. I saw a lot of people taking multiple measurements, doing averages. So you took that time. You were comparing yours. Um, I saw two groups kind of join forces and start working together and make a new plan and compare their results. So um, and then we shared out as a group. So this is the process that um, we use today. 